You should f with people. Like, like if I was a DJ, I would like, do, 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 do. Monica, he's cheating on uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I do it in a way that my grandma's like, whoa, nice photo. Like, if she's like, yeah. no. Check out that ass. Uh, <laughs> you two talk so fast. I'm just like, I, I feel so like it's on fast forward. And I'm like, because I could have made like $40 million or something like that. Like, oh, oh. Easy. Yeah. Lay it on us. So what are you doing with your life? Just imagine just go right, right into it like I'm that. Like, oh, I'm like, you can't even take me on a date first. Just get right to it. Okay, you have, you, you have such long. a cool voice. You should do like some like cartoon voices and stuff. Really? Yeah. But well, before we go on with that, <laughs> welcome back, guys. Uh, I am here with the Summer Ray. Uh, oh, hi, guys. Thanks. Woohoo! <laughs> I am I'm so excited and I have a gr I'm so glad I got this story for you because I knew this episode is going to be one of my favorite I love you as a human being oh I love you and, love and you both love you she loves me more um, <laughs> yesterday we are smoking on the patio celebrating a really good day we, we had a really good day yesterday we're just smoking we're hanging out her sister's here and we just see my dog is just locked in bro and he's mm -hmm. not looking away from something and I'm like alright that's a little weird so poisoned but he's a little diva, so sometimes when the wind is blowing, sometimes we, we think he's just enjoying the wind. Mm -hmm. But then we notice he starts crying. So we look and we see a, a dog running in the streets and, and cars are like stopping for it. And I'm like, okay, this dog needs a hero. I'll be the hero. So I, I run outside and I go, and I kind of got scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bitch because it's a, it's a pit bull. You know what I mean? So it's not like, oh, mm -hmm. he's already almost terrier. as big as me. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, I don't want to, I don't want to get bit or like if he has fleas, it's gross, you know? But he looked at my face and I looked at him and I go, oh no, he's so cute. So cute. And he was so dirty and he looked like he was like kind of roughing it. So I go, come on. And just said one time, come on. And dude has not left me till now. Where he's he? here. He's in the garage right now. I we have Tom because we have Tommy and Leo. Yeah. So you know. Oh well, I need to see this dog before I leave. Yeah, we'll go to the garage. <laughs> I, Wait, is it your? New oh dog? oh oh! I can't see it, but no, that is that is the dog. Try to move it to the other side. Maybe it's doing that. We're trying to figure out our very fancy chair monitor. <laughs> it's literally an <laughs> HDMI cord and an <laughs> Apple laptop, and our our sister, my not, our sister, my sister LG. can't even. That, that's oh, him. That yeah. That is him right there. He's Aww. Jessica. Keep, keep, uh, we got it. Please don't tell me that's the picture you used. I know you guys really didn't get his that angles that well. That is the worst. Yeah, you guys kind of did him. You dirty. have a good picture with him. Whatever. <laughs> okay, anyway, I so fix my hair real fast because I just feel like these headphones are making it look like. You don't even have to wear the headphones if you don't want to wear really them. Yeah, you look really cute. Don't oh, worry. the headphones. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, uh, yeah, I need to see this dog. So are that, you keeping it? Oh, bro, I can't keep a dog, dude. I, I, I already barely could keep one dog. This dog is already a handful. This is, this is like a, a good picture of him. Let me, let me show you one that, like, this yeah. is me. This is me on the way to uh, the, Aww, bro. You look so happy. <laughs> you look in that. Dude. He, <laughs> he, <laughs> you guys are, like, both smiling bro, so hard. Georgie fell in love with him instantly. He's like, oh, my bro. gosh. He's like, no, I could see it. I could see it. No, this, this is my guy. This is my guy. I'm like, Georgie, we can't. Well, I mean, well, first of all, Tommy's in the room. He's my second guy. And I definitely said that. I know for a fact I said that because that's my mm -hmm. guy. And I'm very good on like <laughs> number one, number two. Number but Georgie just falls in love so quick because he's like, oh, he's so sweet. And he's like, oh, I could be his. He's like, look, he loves me. And I'm like, dude, I don't know. Like, he's so sweet and like such a good dog. But I mean, it's just hard with Tommy and like, you know what I mean? Such a different like. And Maybe with Leo, we travel. Friends, Do you know what broke my heart? Though? Oh, but by the, we already named him. So I kind of already fucked up on that. <laughs> they say What's don't his name, name him. His name's Vinny. Yeah, cause Vinny he and Tommy guys, bro, Come on, it's for Vinny. he has this fucking upper body like he's in prison for ten years, bro, and all he did is pull ups and push ups. He's jacked. Bro. He's a puppy. He's definitely like eight to ten months. So if you have a problem with Tommy, you gotta talk to Vinny. That's yeah. that's like the whole uh, so that's the whole story I'm going to about. Keep him. I think they might be. Have they met? No. no. Um, well, they seen each other through the window. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I don't want them to touch because I don't know if he has any fleas or if he needs shots or anything like that. But what broke my heart, Summer, and what made like truly makes me want to keep him. Uh, two times we watched this happen. And if you are these type of people, like if you throw away a dog, I'm excited that there's a hell for people like you because mm -hmm. when the car stopped summer, his ears tucked back and he kept like clawing at me like, like don't get rid of me. Two times we watched this happen. Yeah. So as soon as the car stops and the engine stops, he remembers that's like not a good sign. 
and that breaks the fucking like my heart into a million pieces. So we're we're on the phone with a bunch of people. We're 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 gonna get him a home. He's a great dog. He is such great energy. We actually might have already found him a home. Yeah, my childhood best friend. He's like, yo, I'll take him. And I thought Aww. it was like one of those like, oh, I'll take him like as a mm-hmm. joke. But he's like, send me pictures and videos. And on the on the Facetime, he's like asking his wife. He's like, come on, we already have four. He's he's the pack dog. <laughs> that's, that's always my logic. Yeah. I'm always like, I already have something. <laughs> <Where's another one?" laughs> yo, yo, uh, uh, Jessica's like, ask Summer if she wants the dog. And I'm like, you're not gonna pressure her no, to like. I mean, honestly, I've always wanted like a bigger dog, um, to, for like protection. Yes. He's, oh, he's gonna protect. Oh, I know. But the th- I just drove to Colorado to drop off my three little dogs so I don't have to have them for the summer. Like with my grandma, I'm paying her to watch them because I just can't like every single time find someone to watch them and it's different people. No, I get it. And it's like hard on them. So I was like, (laughs) (laughs) I travel too much. You're like, no, she's not the one. So, but my grandma is like, Every night before bed, she heats up their blankets. She's like, I just put their blankets in the dryer. Stop. Like, yeah. They're, I'm like, don't spoil them too much because they're coming oh. back. No, he's <laughs> fucked. He's already spoiled. He's already spoiled. He got a home-cooked yeah. meal because, uh, by the way, my dog and me get the same groceries. Same meat, same veggies, just cooked differently. You know, I saw that his meal. I was like, whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> I was like, my, that my, looks like I could eat it. Dude, no, no you could. You literally could. <laughs> and, and, and and so we we gave, and this is how I knew he, he really loved Belle. He looked at the meal, looked up at her. He ate the meal immediately and then wiped his face and then just started humping her. And I'm like, no. I go, no, 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 no. The only person who eats and humps her is me. Okay, that's my routine. Not yours, buddy. Animals and just like sexual things, the animals, ooh, I can't deal. Mm -mm. It makes me no. Like, she gets so uncomfortable. She's pure and sweet and like, you can't. Oh, you hate to be around my animals because. It's a hump fest. Like, no, all I can't them. deal. <laughs> Bro, he bit my dick. And this is not, oh my God, this is not, I'm not lying. A stray dog that's newly named Vinny bit my dick. We were running around and I had flowing pants like like PJs. And I was like, oh, oh. And then he bit my wrist. But like, he's a puppy that doesn't know his strength yet. And I was like, oh, fuck, that is different than uh than my dog's bite. So I got scared and I went like this, like an idiot. I went, oh, no, 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 like this. And I put my arm up. And he nipped and he bit my dick. And she watched it and her sister watched it. And I ran on the phone. I like gr- like hit the ground and I was screaming out loud, the dog bit my dick. Oh and my I, I just, God. I can't believe, only that would happen to me. Only I would save a stray dog, name him, and then him bite me in the dick. Yeah, it was, yeah, he was playing. Know, have you told your um, best friend about this bite <laughs> dick bite? Yeah. Like, it's like, actually, I don't want this dog. But enough about these stray dogs. Let's get right into it with you. You've uh, You've been all over the place. You've gone into this realm of DJing how do you yeah uh, no it's fun it's something I've always kind of wanted to do but it's like because back like OG Instagram days you know I used to get paid a lot of money just to be in clubs like back before I was like of age like since I was like 19 years old I would get paid a bunch to of go money to the clubs just to go to the club it's called hosting it was is that, like is that mm-hmm. legal it probably wasn't <laughs> <laughs> I mean now I'm of age I'm, I didn't get caught so whatever um but yeah no they pay me a lot of money. I get like ten grand just to go and be in the club for an hour, or two hours, and like they bring bottles, and I would. Just, it's just like hosting the club. Like yeah. this was like I don't know if you guys yeah. remember, but like all I've seen things. like Kylie Jenner used to do it a lot. Yeah, like, she, yeah, yeah. Instagram, all like the. OG I Instagram thought I made girls. it by making it into the club. <laughs> Like, As yes. a boy, like when so, when a guy can get into the club, he brags to his friends. Getting to a table, I feel like Drake. You're getting paid to be there. I know. I would just get paid to be there. So, yeah. And it was, it was like fun, whatever. I would do it all the time. And then like, as things change, as like the internet has changed, as everything's progressing, it's like, you can't just get paid just to be in the club anymore, mm-hmm. you know? So I was like, I've always wanted to get into music. And like, even when I was like a little younger, I like wanted to like, I'm like, I want to do like, you know, like be an artist of some sort. And I was like, oh, that's kind of not the, not the vibe. So then I'm like, anyone can learn how to DJ. Anyone can learn how to like work the decks and like, it's just playing other people's music. It's not like that deep. You know what I mean? So <laughs> people, because everyone's so mad about it. Hey, 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 No, 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 no. I've never seen somebody come into an industry. Usually they're like, you know, it's like I'm trying, you know, like I get there's a lot of legends out there. And they're, she just walks like, this shit's easy, bro. No, 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 no. You can but be I'm brain dead and just so, hit a button. No, everyone's just so like mad. Like everyone's a D. And like, guys, who cares? Like, who cares if everyone wants to like, I'm not taking anyone else's money or like anything else. It's just like, I respect, you know, it's like, I have respect for it and I respect the craft and everything. I'm not coming out like it's that easy. Mm. But everyone's just like, acts like you cannot do it like oh my god she's not a real dj it's like yeah. why i didn't want to start is because you get so much hate for it you know what i mean it's like from other djs it's like she doesn't 
I'm like, guys, you can learn how to work the boards. It's not like Well, you like music, thing. right? Yeah, I love music. If you know music and you understand, like, music, it's not like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know so if you much- grew up with this, but, like, when I got in the car, immediately somebody goes, who's DJ? With an ox cord. Yeah, that you can be the DJ that way. You, know <laughs> you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. With, an, with an ox cord. <laughs> now, I, and I'm not saying you're Steve Aoki throwing cakes at somebody, but, like, being a DJ, to me... It's, it's, just not, like, it's not like the wicka wicka. I'm not talking like about that DJ. Good music. Just controlling the crowd, yeah. and that takes a, ter- a certain type of person that has a good vibe, that knows yeah. the the energy that's in the room, and be like, "Yo, we're gonna go this direction." Yeah. And you definitely have that. When you walk into a room, you carry the room, Thank and you. I, I think you make a great DJ for that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't want to come, like I don't want like DJs to be like, "Oh my God, summer, summer, I'm talking shit." No, it's not like that. It's just like other DJs are just so mean to other DJs. It's like, mm-hmm. guys, come on. There's room for everyone, and everyone can play good music. Like, yeah. chill out. Like, you know what I mean? So, are you having fun doing way. it? Yeah, I'm having the best time ever. It's really, really, really fun. And, like, I've always like wanted to, you know, how it said, like, be in music. And I like to control the room. I like to walk. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah. is fun to, like, like always, like, on sprinters and, like, in the car, like, wanting to be DJ. You know what I mean? So, it's like plugging yeah. in your ox cord. It's like the same thing, but, like, a whole club or, like, uh, this year, I'm doing my first festival Let's in go. North Carolina. Yeah, Congrats. it's gonna be really fun. So that's yeah, I'm sick. excited. That's awesome. Now, can I ask you something? As a DJ, do you have like, do you go into it being like, okay, I'm gonna wing it? Like for stand up, like you you test the crowd and you're like, okay, these jokes are gonna hit for these type of crowds, or do you have like a playlist? You're like, no, I know exactly where I'm gonna go from B to Z. Yeah, I mean, kind of like if it's like a lo- like um something a little smaller, I will just like kind of wing it, whatever. But if it's like where I, it's like people want to take pictures and all this kind of stuff, I kind of want to know like what I'm going to play and like kind of have it like in a playlist. But then if that's not working, you can always like do something else. Like you just have that. If it's working for the environment, stick with that. Like because it's kind of curated. Like this is the club I'm playing. This is what I think music is going to be good for. <clears throat> but I like to play house music, you know, but like. A lot of places, and like I've gone on a DJ to like a college tour, and they don't really love house music that much. Oh, so yeah. I'm, of course, sometimes I'll just like have to switch it up and go to rap because they don't really like house. But you kind of have to find your niche, you know? Yeah. What, I is wanna, what is I yours? What is yours? I kind of, I'm like figuring it out. Um, I love house music, and I just want to be like a little bit different, like find my <clears throat> niche and not just be like just the mainstream, just playing what yeah. all the music that everyone else plays, you know what I mean? Because I want to go to like Europe and like go to the other like sides of the world and. Because they love like house music. Oh yeah, that's oh, all they That's yeah. that's what I want to do. Because I want to do like festival. I don't want to be a, like a club DJ. That's not like yeah. my passion. I don't really love being in the club. Um, but I'm do, like doing it now because I have to like put a name out for myself and stuff in the space. But I want to do like festivals and go to like a Ibiza and like do that kind of stuff. That's what I'm passionate about. So yeah. that's what I'm like. That's my goal. You want to do like those summer jam ones, like <laughs> by the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like there's this um festival we're going to this year. It's called Hangout. It's like my favorite festival. It's like in Alabama. It's like on the beach, like doing Ooh, that festival. To, so cool. It's like cool festivals and like, yeah, going to Europe and other sides of the world and like DJing and stuff where people actually appreciate that kind of music. Like Miami mm-hmm. kind of appreciates it, but like yeah. LA, I feel like doesn't most of like, States that I've been to to DJ, they don't really love house that much. It's like it's weird with house. It's like people love love it or hate it. There's like yeah. not that much in between. So yeah, are you just sober like while you're performing, or do you? Like- um, I'll take um a few shots just to like because I get a little nervous. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I don't really like going on the mic. I'm kind of nervous mm-hmm. to go on the mic. Um, what do you say when you're on the mic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's summertime, <laughs> bitch. Like, hey, guys, but, yeah, so I'm like working on it because it's like, but if I take a few shots, I feel like yeah. a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I just kind of get a little shy if I mm-hmm. don't take a few shots. But, um, cause I, and I'm also so focused on like DJing and like um, mixing and stuff and like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, I go on the mic. I just need yeah. to get a little more comfortable. But and I'm also in the really vibe new. of everybody yeah. like partying. And, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, when I get comfortable, then I start, and then I'm like, okay, I want to get on the mic. But it's just like, you have to do it like the right time. I don't want to do it too much. Like, yeah. if I'm in the club or if I'm somewhere and people are on the mic so much, I'm like, dude, shut up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. my God. The radio guys? Oh, the radio guys? Right. Ch- 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 Yo, man. today I lost my dog, so I'm hanging out with my wife, getting back into Drake. Do, 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 do. It's like, I know. I'm like, Just get to Drake, bro. We don't need to know and, about your life. And DJs who every single time before the drop, they're like, 
I'm like, one, two, that is like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. <laughs> we hear it. You know how to count. Like, we don't, like, we knew the drop was coming. Like, thank you for really letting us. It's like here and there is fine. Yeah. But like, I just want to have like the fine line of like not annoying people because I get annoyed. But yeah. maybe other people don't get annoyed. <laughs> I'm like, I, I just want to listen to the music. You, you should fuck with people. Like, like if I was a DJ, I would be like, do, 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 Monica, he's cheating on uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I just see a girl like in the crowd like, I know, it's terrible. And they're drunk. Imagine like right before the drop, every time I just like turn off the music, everyone's like, what the fuck? It's just like, that's that's my thing. You know, like Steve like throws cake at people. I just like fuck up everyone's vibe like every second. Instead of throwing cake, you throw shape. That dress doesn't work. Honestly, maybe you should do it. This is your thing. Yeah. I mean, everyone's a DJ, guys. I think we all should just be one. Yeah, we yeah. all should. Can I ask you, would you ever want to partner up with somebody? Like, you know how um, the chain smokers, like, or one's like on the Sophie mic. Sophie Tucker. Who's oh, Sophie you, Tucker? You guys I have never heard Sophie Tucker? It's no. like this guy-girl duo. duo they're really, I think oh, they're really dope. That's so. cool. Have you ever thought yeah. about doing that? I mean, who's who's my sidekick? Was. Oh, so it's three. Yeah, we're, yeah, all, yeah. we're like we need to, we're all kind of like stepping on each other. She'll wear glitter and just dance, and, and then, and She's then like, you. Wait, I'm more than that. She's like, let me have a better position than that. Fine, I'll wear glitter and dance. There we go. There we go. How does oh, it feel? It's KK. It's yeah, that one. That what one, What yeah. are you looking up? Oh, oh Sophie Tuck. <laughs> She's so late every time, bro. Jessica, you so, you're so bad, bro. You're so bad. And by the way, this is so crooked. We have to like turn our necks for this. I gotta take a picture of how this looks. Look how cheap this production looks. How does it feel like watching the crowd either like love what you're playing or you like see it die down and you're like, oh fuck, fuck. Like, yeah, change. see that's the thing and like Good question. what you have to kind of like figure out too is because I, I struggle with that because, like, a lot of the, the DJing is, like, oh, if you're not making the crowd move, if they're not enjoying it, then you're a bad DJ. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, what I'm trying to do with my career is, like, I want people to be there, too, also for me. And, like, when I'm making my niche and when I'm doing, like, you know, people will slowly, like, be there for me. So I have to play and, like, stay true to, like, my sound and, like, what yeah. I want to do. Yeah. So you, it's also, it's, like, I want people to enjoy the music and I want to make the crowd but it's also i can't always just go and do and like cater to everyone because then yeah. i'm not ever gonna like have you know what i mean so it's like it's artist. like a balance you know yeah. what i mean like obviously i want people to have fun like but it's also like i need to like enjoy what i'm playing and like feel passionate about it and also like how i was talking about like my niche and like you know what i mean because not everyone's gonna love it but maybe yeah. those people don't have to come next time but it's like you have right. to like build You're your like audience building your group or who wants to come like those people who hated it won't come to my next show but the people yeah. who love it and they tell their friends like oh so it's like that's kind of how you have to do it you <laughs> two talk so fast that i'm just <laughs> like yeah, I, know. I, I feel so like it's on fast forward and i'm like <laughs> what the fuck you know like every podcast i've ever done and like you've been on like you know i was like one of the first one on your guys's podcast I was like the third one on Impulsive. And like every single time, everyone comments on the, like, is Summer on drugs? What? <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, she's like, is she just like, okay. I'm like, dude, no. I'm just like, you know when you get nervous? Not nervous, but yes. like, I just talk a lot. <laughs> so what do you got on your agenda this year? We got the DJ thing, and what else do we have? Um, Just like, that's taking up a lot of my time. I'm actually, I just doing a college tour. So I've just like, every single weekend, just been going to like, three different states in the weekend. So I did like Michigan and then Alabama and then Texas and then New York, like Louisiana. Blah, blah. So like just like waking up, getting on a plane, going to a different town. And it's been really fun. And like I just didn't want to just be like hated on or be like, like, you know what I mean? Go, not hated on, but like I want to like really earn it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not just be handed everything like, oh, you have a lot of followers. Here's a DJ residency in Vegas. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I want to like create a fan base and like really grind it out and like do it for real. So yeah, I've been just doing like little bars and like little like college towns and you. like all that stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. So I wanted to have like the journey because it's yeah. like if you start from the top, all you have is down, you know? So I wanted to like really do it and I like really experience like that. it. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, you're very humble. Like you're very humble, but also I, I, I not that I didn't expect it. It's just, so much like i if i was in your position i'm like i'm fucking signing to the biggest thing <laughs> i'm fucking summer ray bro i don't give a fuck what you guys thinking what was that that was probably basketball, basketball hoop okay thing. i thought i thought the dog would rip through the door <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like <laughs> that bulldog was like, <laughs> <laughs> no he's, he's like a good boy <laughs> and, and my second question is uh how did you get into college tours and do you have like a, a team to like help you 
organize this? Because how did you just like you hit the ground running in such a professional way? Like, how do um, you go yeah, about I have, it? I'm like, I have like people here and there that um, helping me. I have like a tour manager guy who helps me, but um, but bookings, it's just kind of like they come in my email. And um, I was working with Beat Gig, and they do like some college. They do some of that. So yeah, I don't really have like a solid team. I just have like my girl um katie and then my business partner and that's pretty much like my team like i need i want to do like um management like a like an agency or something for my dj stuff but i kind of want to just like let the summer see how it is because i've yeah. already gotten so many bookings just that and then and then go from there I yeah damn good for you bro how is it being with like <clears throat> like the colleges like do they get like crazy like yeah actually i love i love the college like i never went to college so it's kind of like fun yeah. like every like every frat is different because it's like frat parties and like it's just like gonna be really fun for like the memories to look back on because everything you don't know what to expect because you right. don't know how, like because the kids are setting it up because you have like the like it's called like the chairman of like something like like usually the freshmen are putting like organizing it and stuff so sometimes they can be like kind of like not set up like good like love them but oh, it's like, like the sororities like yeah. delta phi and yeah yeah, yeah like okay. pie cap and all that so um some of them are like next level like production like green room like all the stuff that i need like perfect and then sometimes i'm like in this like kitchen with like a bunch of fat boys That's sick. That's sick. <laughs> which one's more enjoyable Actually, I kind of like both. I, I knew both. it. I kind of like it. it. It's kind of fun. You know it what I mean? It just gives you the experience. It's, like, it's the experience. Yeah. I never went to college. And Same. all my um, friends, like, so I dropped out of um, high school freshman year. And then I started, like, competing and bodybuilding and stuff. So I was, like, sober, like, couldn't drink So when all my friends were in college. And I would go to Boulder because I grew up in Colorado. And I would go and, like, hang out with them. But I was the DD. I never had a sip of alcohol while I was there. I never got drunk because... When you're competing, like, alcohol is, like, the worst thing for you right. when it comes to, like, metabolism and gaining weight and stuff. It's just not good. So I was sober, just, like, driving. So I saw some of the college experience of, like, partying, but I was never really a part of it. I was yeah. just like, whoa, this is gross. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, when you're sober, it's, like, kind of nasty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like, now I'm like, I, like, drink with them a little bit, and it's fun. And it's more for the experience and, like, to look back and be like, that was fun. Like And, like, also those kids who saw me and stuff, it's, like, I create like an actual personal bond with them and like yeah. they can remember and it's like more personal than just being on like a huge stage and like so like on a pedestal it's like kind of hum like you know they see me in like a different light and it's more like personal so I like it. Yeah they get to connect with you. Yeah, yeah. it's like, like Summer change the song I said I was <laughs> slow jam. They're like this stupid bitch like they're actually like some, she's just a fucking regular ass bitch you don't even fuck with her at all. <laughs> Whatever. Wait so tell us about you dropped out of high school freshman year how yeah. did you did you come to your parents and like i want to so i was homeschooled like my whole life um because my i come from like really christian my mom was like hate school and all that stuff so she was going through a divorce and then like with my dad and then she was like whatever you guys can go to school because we always wanted to and then she was like going through a divorce and just like her life was changing so she was like i don't want to deal with this anymore so she was like you guys can go to school so i was a freshman at the time so i was really excited about school and then it so you went to, to wait wait you went to school for the first time as a freshman yeah i went for like a second bro was that like, scary i mean i didn't think it was scary i was like excited yeah, yeah. And, I was like, Woo! and then <laughs> found out it was not fun at all <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because I saw movies. I was like, high school yeah, musical. Yeah, yeah. I thought we were gonna. Be, I thought we were gonna be fucking breaking out in song, yeah. and cafeteria. And they're like, it's not like that nope. at all. I'm like, this is shitty. No. I'm like, well, at the cafeteria, I'm like, this is not glamorous at all. Sad. Was your school clicky? How were they? Oh, so that's why I think the problem is because everyone grows up with each other. They're like yeah. best friends since elementary school. Yeah. All, so I walk in, new girl, no friends, nothing. Mm. Now all the girls hated me, so I was only friends with guys, and I've always. Like, I like to hang out with guys just because sometimes it's just, like, easier. And, like, lo I would love to hang out with girls. But yeah. sometimes girls are just, like, I don't know, clicky. The like whatever. And yeah. So I was just like, the guys liked me. So hanging out with them. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> the guys uh, liked me. You don't <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I just, like, then all of a sudden, like, now, like, it's just all these rumors. Like, I was a virgin at the time. And, like, everyone's saying, like, I'm sleeping with all the guys. And, like, blah, blah. And, like, all these rumors. Yeah. Like, started. Everyone was evil to me. So, like, really bullied. So then I dropped out. And my mom was in BD school at the time. So I would go to school with her all the time. Like, and not even go to school. And then slowly would just stop going to school. <laughs> 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 my 
my mom didn't even want me there so she's like perfect come home <laughs> come with me and she's like come to school with me because she doesn't want me around that stuff and yeah she doesn't like school and she like i wanted to go to school she didn't want me to go to school so then she was like see i told you i'm like you're all right mom please take me out of here they're <laughs> evil <laughs> they're evil Be, gr- yeah. i feel so bad for kids like it's like no i feel bad for kids so now bro oh, social yeah. media Same. no it's probably Whoa. so much worse but the rules like when i was like like in school when i went there for the short amount of time the popular kids were like the hot girls the cheerleaders or the football players now it's reverse it's whoever has the most followers yeah it was so just so crazy has a chance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like the nerdy kid that does Fortnite is like the man he's like i am stream he's like this is me i stream bitch yeah how many twitch followers do you have yeah yeah the football player is like please be my friend <laughs> yeah. No, but I totally feel because, like, I moved around a lot, like, a lot. So I was always the new girl. So it's, like, that starting that in that new place and, like, in yeah. high school, like, going to a new high school. And they're, like, oh, yeah, we went to middle school together. Nah, nah, nah. And yeah. then, like, certainly in the States because, like, when I was in school in Canada, it's not as clicky. Are you from Canada? No, I just lived oh. there for six oh, years. Okay. <clears throat> I'm from France, but I lived there for six years. And then when I moved here to California the American high school experience. It was like, <laughs> whoa, like, yeah, like the girls and the purses and the clicks, like it was intense, you know? So yeah. I can imagine you never going to school and then you go as a freshman, you're like, what the fuck? And I thought I was going to have all the, I was so excited. Yeah. Like, I've, never, I've never really had a lot of girlfriends before. And I, I, got, I know, right? I got the palms. I was like, guys, I'm going to own this bitch. I was like, oh <laughs> shit. No, that's not how this works. Yeah, no, I thought it was high school. I, I loved high school musical growing up. I was watching that and like, you know, in all the movies, High school seems so fun. It like, seems yeah, like every, the best. it's silent. Every the hot girl walks in. It's like yes, so, <laughs> wind in her hair. Like I don't know. I thought that was gonna be me, but yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. Now, now it's you at the college. You know, at the college no, DJs. But, <laughs> but they're like, yeah, it's win. my time. They're like, yeah, the bathroom, the porta potties are a little set up right now for now. <laughs> like, no, seriously, humble. got I go it. To, okay, I, go the, I use like so they like at the frat houses. It's like they use one of the kids' room as like the green room, and like the bathroom <laughs> sometimes. Are so gross i'm like (laughs) but like actually one of them was actually really clean me and my friend were like wow this kid really got his shit together (laughs) sometimes they're so gross but it's kind of fun like i don't know i'm like kind of a tomboy and like grew up on a ranch and like all that kind of stuff so it's like i mean that's a little different like i like the dirt and stuff like gross bathrooms are not really my thing (laughs) but still (laughs) i'm like i'm not like too high high maintenance i've i've we've hung out a few times and i've seen you kind of go off into different verticals because you're you're like a businesswoman you like to climb mountains and conquer them move on i've never seen you this happy about something so i really do feel like you found a yeah like a really cool lane for yourself it's like something it's like a way to like because like with my fitness stuff i always wanted to like travel the world and kind of do like boot camps and blah 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 like workout camps but it's like not the same i don't know it's like funner like to be i'm still gonna do that but actually i'm gonna put the two together and do like workout classes with um me djing or like someone else mm. djing that's and, really smart. yeah because i just did one in canada this last weekend and dj'd while people were working out it's my emiraeus it's my beauty gummy line and we did like we did a um like little workout collab thing um with this brand in canada called house and it was fun i dj'd it and it was like mm. a workout so it's like doing that and i want to do this thing called summer's camp where it's like a festival and like during the day you work out and then at night it's like festivals at festival and like people have lot, like big djs yeah. and artists and stuff i love so it's that. like bringing the two worlds together that i that i love so. that's totally. awesome that's yeah. really cool i'm ar- i love how you're already thinking about the next few steps that's great i'm excited to see uh yeah i was gonna do it we ha- i had a whole a whole lined up thing it's called summer's camp and covid messed it up i was like partnering yeah. with the marriott and palm springs and we we're doing this whole thing but it got wasn't meant Kevin. to be. So, I know. No, because I wasn't DJing yeah. and stuff yet. I was going to, but I wasn't oh, like prepared. Because okay. I've been learning how to DJ for like the last three years, but I've always been like a little too scared to actually come out and do it. Because it's like the hate. It's like people don't want to see you doing something new. And then it's the stigma of like everyone's a DJ, all this kind of stuff. Like, oh, this is the next step in an Instagram model's career, like all this stuff. So it's like, it's always kind of hesitant. But then mm-hmm. it's like, I got to the point where it's like, I only live once yeah. and like I don't want to look back on my life and be like I because like for me I've always just done and done what I want to do like yeah. that's what I want to do I do if I want to start this line if I want to do this I I always just jump ahead first and just do what I want so I'm like why am I like holding back on this I want to do so bad so then I was just like you know what fuck it I'm gonna do it 
Can I cuss on here? Sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, just don't cuss. I'm just kidding. Well, you know, I haven't been cussing that much, but usually it's... <laughs> I'm trying to cut swearing, and it's really hard. Oh, it's so hard. It's, it's just so like, hard. it's just, it just comes so out. many great words. <laughs> it's, it's like really salt on the sentence. Like, <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I don't get my porn across without a good... <laughs> yeah. Um... I want to know, uh, are you into producing? Because I know a lot of DJs, they want, they like, they have a sound that they like to go with, and then like, you know, like Geta went into producing, yeah. and like, is there is there a lane where you're gonna want to find artists and then produce them? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's like down the road, and like, I want to make my like, my own songs and stuff. I already came out with a song. It's called Internal Summer. I don't sing a lot of the guys. It's just like a a beat that I help produce and stuff. But yeah, that's like also something I want to learn because I don't like to just do like. I like to like learn the craft of DJ and stuff. Mm. I wasn't just like, oh, push a button, play like that. It's like I'm learning the craft, learn craft, and that's also with producing. It's like you just don't jump in and like I'm a producer. It's like yeah. learning it, like yeah, seeing other people produce. Like <clears throat> before I came out DJ and like I had like a million coaches. Like I was always asking, can you teach me how to DJ? Can you yeah. hiring people, paying people? Like I wanted to like know what I'm doing before yeah. I do it. Um, and that's like respecting the craft. Cause I don't want people to think I don't respect the craft. Like, oh, it's not that deep. I just mm -hmm. don't think it's that deep to be that mean to other people. Cause yeah. <clears> if <throat> other people want to do something, like why like shit yeah. on them? Like yeah. whatever. Oh, honey, like, yeah. you know what I mean? If that's do you want to start dancing one day? Like, like whatever, yeah. who cares? Like if you want to like, whatever you want to do, it's like life is so short and like you can't steal someone else's shine. Like just because I'm DJing doesn't mean the last per next person can't. I was like, I'm in my own lane. I've created my own brand. I'm going to yep. do what I'm going to do regardless. So it's like, not hurting you so why do you care so much yeah. you know what i mean like if everyone starts i'm like oh cool let's dj together it's fun you know what i mean yeah it's not that deep in a sense of like it's not affecting you so just shut the fuck up you know what i mean like that's really what it is so is there anybody like, in particular that came at you that you're like yo like why are you coming at me so hard that's like has a name for himself you don't I mean, we could beep no, out no, the name no, or anything no one's done i mean not to my face you know what i mean yeah. but like i mean those people like have their own shit going on. They don't like be hating like that. Like I'm just saying, like com, like every comment or like people. Yeah. And I don't care about that kind of stuff. But sometimes I think about that. Of like, I mean, when someone starts doing something new, everyone kind of hates. Like even just like their friend. Like oh my god, she not. You know what I mean? People don't like change. People mm -hmm. don't like change. Like my followers don't like that. They want me to be a little ask girl on Instagram. You know what I mean? Because yeah. even when I changed from that like years ago, no one liked it. You know what I mean? Right. They're like, what the hell is this girl doing? Like people unfollow me, blah blah. Yeah. But it's like people who can't it, like. Like, I'm, I'm just a human, and I'm changing, I'm evolving. Like, I'm not going to stay the same. And if you can't go with me on my journey, then don't follow me. Like, because I don't yeah. really want you here anyway. Yeah, it's literally it's called not, follow me. Yeah. <laughs> not tell not me where really, to go. You know what I mean? It's not really about the number of followers. You know what I mean? It's like, in the beginning, it was like the number of followers, how many yeah. followers you have, all that kind of stuff. All this stuff doesn't really matter. It's like, who wants to go on a journey with you? And like, who wants to, you know what I mean? Of be course, a part of yeah, my of journey. And um like support and all that kind of stuff that's really what matters like i, I don't really care about the follower count or any of that stuff anymore because like instagram and like all the platforms have changed so much you so know what I mean? much yeah like it's like night and day from when i first started you know when i first how got, did you start how, how when was... i first got on instagram no one even had a million followers yet like i remember the first person who hit a million followers was like oh my god it was crazy like getting like 10k likes was like it was like such a different yeah. world like when i blew up in my little like time of whatever when like I had my like moment not that many people were even on Instagram you know what I mean like it was such a like different space and like when I was started and I was like because when I was 16 um when I was like maybe going to beauty school and then you had to be 17 or pregnant so then I was like I'm not either of those things so I'm just gonna work out and stuff and then I started posting on social media and I had the, these two brands that would like pay me this like protein brand and then this workout brand and they send me like a check in the mail like $1,600 for one and like yeah I was like shit like my my I'm like you guys can't be hating my mom's like get your GG like yeah. Yeah. I'm like bitch I'm making five grand a month right now shut up like you know what I mean <laughs> and no one understood it like my family yeah. didn't understand it my friends like what like Such social a media thing, like yeah. everyone's like what are you doing social media like you can't make money from that like you can't have a career from that mm -hmm. I'm like I don't know something just told me I could I don't know it was the weirdest thing I was just like no I'm gonna make money on this app how like, cool is that <laughs> like I just knew I could you want you and look what it has done yeah. now it's like everyone wants to make money on the app you know what I mean yeah when, when you're looking at tv or movies uh what you think of the greats and then the also people you don't forget are the people that started it right to think that we're in a realm where our grandkids and grandkids after that, they're, they're, they're going to know social media. Social media is going to be embedded in their life completely from mm -hmm. beginning to end. But we are a part of the beginning of it. 
Do you I get know, what I'm saying? Like crazy. that's crazy. There's going to be people all around the world now. They said the number one uh, kid request. You know when back in the day you used yeah. to fill out the reports? It's Kids like used YouTuber. to be basketball players. Yeah. 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 Now it's YouTube and now it's social media stars. So yeah. it's, it, it really be, it became a phenomenon overnight. And you, you're an entrepreneur. You're Christopher Columbus in girl form <laughs> when it comes to finding that lane. So when people were telling you like, hey, what are you doing? Go get your GED. Remember that same fucking energy when you hear people talking about your DJing. Right. Because See, that's one what I just have to do to trust myself. He's yeah. like, you know, that's what I used to do. I used to not care about the hate. But it's weird because it's like, you get so much hate, and then it kind of makes you you get insecure like over things like and the, but then you just have to remember like no fuck that you yeah. know what i mean like sometimes when you're having like a bad day like sometimes things can affect you but then it's like you know what honestly no yeah. i don't really care i love how real you are you yeah. tell it how it is That's because right. a lot of people are like nothing affects me and it's like you're dead inside then like yeah you, like, <laughs> no, no, i have days and like i mean being a girl like you know the period yeah time of month like sometimes <laughs> i'm like ah, blah, blah. and then i'm like oh, wait no no, I'm good. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm like, no, I'm gonna thug this out. Yeah. So yeah. People no, are always homies. gonna say something, you know what I mean? And I mean, it's gonna get to you at some point because it's just being told to you, you know? And then yeah. the faster you can remind yourself, the better. The Why are you laughing? Is, she's just so Because cute. I had to beg you to do social media, bro. What do you mean? You, you don't want to do social media. I'm talking about people like saying bad things to you and then like, you're like, it gets to you. No, I, I know. Social media. But, I, but it's just you guys, if we're going to call it how it is. You like before you did social media because she's a really good, um, unbelievable actress and she's in rooms for like crazy roles right now and she's impressing the best directors, the best writers and she's oh, like, yeah. bro, I've done this my whole life and I'm in rooms. I don't want to mess this up because I'm posting videos with her being like, my girlfriend Wait, covered babe. in honey. And like, she's like, dude, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like stop it. Yeah, like, because no, when we first started dating, because <laughs> when we first started dating, because like, I was always on Instagram, always did Instagram, things like that. Because like my best friend, Michelle, she, this was like when, yeah, when it wasn't really big that people were big on Instagram. Same thing. She had a photo that went viral and she started getting like, you know, followers. So it kind of started through that. So like I always did the Instagram thing in that sense because I was like modeling and acting, but nothing else. When I started dating him and he's like <laughs> deep in YouTube and I had no idea about this world of YouTube, yeah. like <laughs> knew nothing about it. And he's like, you should do YouTube. You should do YouTube. I'm like, babe, like, no, I can't. Like, you know, my managers are very like, he's like, you know, you want to be like a serious actress, like social media, you know, you don't want to mix the two. Now yeah. it's so blended obviously you oh, know yeah, it's very but blinding. so yeah he did he had to pull my arm for a long he's like dude you should do it you should do it you should, you should be so good at it and i was like i don't know i don't know so then i started and then you know obviously i really enjoy it because like in a, I, beautiful women have it easier on social media if yeah. you're talented and you're beautiful it's like here's money and fame a guy has to like like just do and use girls for their clickbait okay. <laughs> so yeah. we, we have media. to do all that and be like but look who i'm dating <laughs> like, you know, like no, it means George nothing. Like, Please, I need you, babe. Get on YouTube with they, me. They click for you, but they stay for for you too. <laughs> like, I haven't seen me. her. You, I'm fucking gonna add. You have to just pull her in. Like you're talking, you're like, just for a quick second. <laughs> no, people. Here, guys. People would always ask me, like, bro, why don't you use your girlfriend for thumbnails more? And I go, bro, because like, if say, God forbid, we break up, then not only do I lose a girlfriend. I lose the audience that came with my girlfriend. Do you get what I'm saying? If you use the girl, I've known people that would use their girlfriend. <laughs> bought my girlfriend a gift. But, and then I hate that. If you're going to do something in your relationship, keep that shit between you. You know what I mean? Don't I know, publicize it. That's why I feel it. so bad for certain kids that are like grown up. They're born into YouTube and then their whole life, everything that's good in their life is like film. Like, oh, I got you a gift, blah, blah. And then mm -hmm. the phone and then the phone's away. Nothing good happens for them. So then yeah. they think that the it has to be mentally fucked up to them. You know 100%. I mean? Every single good thing in their life is recorded. Like the camera comes out, something good's going to happen or something bad might happen. You don't know. And it can't be healthy. Like I can't imagine if my mom had a phone in my face my whole life. Yeah. Like, you see all these like kids like on social media and you see kids crying or th and like just that you have to think the other yes. side so there's a camera yes. on her, their face like that can't be healthy like for when i have kids i really just want to like as much as you want to like do that Catch or like moment, you yeah. don't know it's like you have to also let them be a human and like that's not natural like yeah. you know what i mean like no. it, it nothing's feels natural fake, about you know? that like yeah it's like having a camera in your face 24 7 as a kid like i just don't know what that's doing like to your brain but it can't be healthy i mean i feel like everyone's a little messed up just from our childhood um it's like imagine if we had to deal with that shit too i'm mm -hmm. like Ugh, yeah. i don't know it's it's a tough one yeah. tough. i always think of that when i see videos of like kids like they record them like throwing a tantrum or they're sad know, and i'm like, I'm like that's what you thought about doing that moment like was pulling out your phone when you're watching the video 
It's like, oh, uh, but then you're like, oh, wait, on the other side, that's like, you have to think about what's actually happening. It's like a mom just recording their kid. Like, yeah. And it's like kids are getting away with so much. And like, because the ki- parents kind of want them to have more outbursts and more of this because the more views, the more whatever. So it's like they're kind of encouraging them to be worse. So it's like more views, more that. It's just kind of like the whole concept is just kind of messed up. I don't yeah. know. Really gross. Yeah. Do you ever see those parents that are like, my son got caught lying, so and then they just show, they embarrass their kid in front of the world. And the thing is, everything my... like stays on social media forever. You know yeah. what I mean? Like all this stuff, it's like what people make who like make Instagram accounts for their kid, like right when it's like, and they're posing embarrassing stuff. Like yeah, I'm like this is like. You're I'm, deciding. Can you imagine for being them. 18 and being like, "Here's your Instagram account," and like, or like, I'm yeah. age, like, you're like, "Whoa!" You're like going through it. It's like all these photos of you, like naked, like you just like pick, taking a shit in the middle of the street. I'm like, "Yeah, how much you this? Yeah, and God forbid a video goes viral and then know, that's you're, attached to you, dude. It's like you're. It's like some parents won't even pierce their kids' ears until they're of it. Like they want to do that. Now it's like it's just so much weird shit. Like social media. Like I love it and I'm thankful for it because it's. Like, you know, I appreciate what it's done for my life. But at the same time, if it didn't ever exist, I wouldn't know it. So it wouldn't affect me. I would just be doing something else because, like, if you don't you don't know about it, it doesn't exist. It, you know? So sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish it, like, didn't exist for anyone ever. Um, and I'd be doing my – if you didn't know it exists, you're not missing out on anything. I wouldn't exactly. be like, oh, I missed that or like, yeah. whatever because it just never existed. Because it's, like, it's kind of made the world, like – yeah. I don't know if it's made the world worse or maybe we just see how shitty the world is because before we couldn't no, see it. No, it's made it way worse. It's <laughs> yeah. made it way worse. Yeah. It's magnifying it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's it's you, it's glorifying things that shouldn't be glorified and it's magnetizing like it's everything like, by a like, lot. And it's just like, so I'll take like, I want to take time like to post some like inspirational stuff, like get a whole team. Make it, fucking one like, one view. You do some like little ass jiggle for five seconds, fucking billions of views everyone's like yeah. it's like whoa it's like no one wants like look at the people who are famous like bad baby whatever her name is why why do we bad glorify baby, whatever baby. her name i don't know like i don't like stuff that's like so i don't think that's she's a good role model i don't think there's anything good about that because it's like why are we glorifying people who are evil to their mothers why are we glorifying yeah. people why are, why is she famous like why is not people who are doing good for the world that are like you know why are our marines why aren't they famous like why aren't they getting a bunch of money they serve our country and then they're on the streets asking for money how does that make Fair. sense i i don't get it and it's just like i think everything's a little flip-flop the people who are evil to their mothers or just disrespectful in general and then all of a sudden they have millions of dollars yeah. and they're li- now they're music artists now and, they're music yeah. artists now they have they have all the finest things in the world but like people who are actually doing something good for the environment for our world for our safety our well-being our livelihood our broken homeless like it makes no sense like yeah. you know what i mean like not saying that i should be you know what i mean i got popular off my body but i did work hard for it and yeah i i think that i have a positive message and i always stay true to myself so yeah i just think that it's like kind of messed up. I remember when we were on Impulsive, me and you were arguing to uh, <laughs> my co-host about you starting an OnlyFans. Yeah. Did you start an OnlyFans? No. Okay, good yeah. for you. Okay, so <laughs> like I, I on, in that time, that was like every single person in my life was coming at me and telling me, "Summer, you're so if you don't start an OnlyFans, you're stupid. You're stupid. Like, so how could you not up. do that? Like, everyone mm-hmm. in my life was coming because like the money I could make would be insane. Like, it, you would be it, getting it, a like bag. it would be literally like someone was saying like. I, in that time with COVID and how everyone was making, because I could have made like forty million dollars or something like that, and it's just like oh oh easy yeah. So it was like you know what I mean. I have all these people and everyone's like some are like who cares like who because I'm like oh my self respect like blah blah how I feel about myself. She's like who cares when you're on a yacht? Who cares when? And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, are these like, your friends? It's just oh. like people like you know just people around you know people are so driven by money. A yeah. lot of people in that situation my my dilemma would um, it wouldn't have even been a dilemma. They're like a oh, fucking forty million dollars, but for me it's just like. I have worked so like hard to like ch- try to change my image in a sense yeah. of like I'm not just the asker. I'm not just like that. I have like s- many level like layers. But if I do that, it just puts me in that stigma of like only fans girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like just because you're not po- like I'm not saying I'm gonna go post like nude or anything. A lot of girls I know that do it. They don't even post and stuff like that. It's just like the it's stigma. stigma. It's the stigma. Mm-hmm. And also if you read their captions, like bend over, pussy yeah. spread. Like even it's if all about not, that. Yeah. It's, it's all sex. It's literally yep. sex. And it's just like, I don't want to have, you have to have bios. You have yeah. to have captions. On that's your what you're selling. Like even if they're not showing anything, that's what it is. And then the oh, guys open it and they're just getting scammed. Like yeah. I'm not, I don't really want to scam anyone. I don't There's a lot scam. of scamming when it comes yeah. to OnlyFans. I don't want to scam anyone. I 
want to like for me i'm always like the longevity of my brand you know what i mean like i have my emirates and um um <clears throat> neiman marcus like all these huge stores <clears throat> JC Penney's all this stuff. It's like, what if if I had an OnlyFans, like the yeah. CEOs of that would be like, yeah, let's stay away from this girl. You know what I mean? Like that's what makes me happy. That's what makes me passionate. I'm not really in it for the money as much as I am in it for. I want to look back on my life and be like, wow, I created my empire and I did something special that I'm proud of. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, you could make, I could make forty million dollars, but I'll be home on my yacht crying. <laughs> I'd be like, fuck, I wish I didn't do this because it's not really about the money. Because money doesn't really make you happy. Money's like, you a could, tool. People, that's it. People, um, I've seen people with the most money in the world and they're miserable. You know what I mean? Like Most of them. Most of them all. Yeah. It's like, I don't need to live a fucking lavish life. If I do, it's cool. But if I don't, it's like more money, more problems, honestly. And I like, I like to have a little simple life, my animals and all that stuff. So it's like, I just do stuff also for like the joy, man. If it doesn't bring my jo me joy, then like, I don't want it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That wouldn't bring me joy. I wouldn't feel good about myself. Yeah. And also, I think I need to be like some a girl that's like, just because I post my body and stuff doesn't mean I have to go on a platform and sell sex. Because girls, these young girls are starting to, and girls a lot of the time start not showing stuff. And then people start following away. They don't want to see the content anymore because they're like, okay, I'm just bikini photos. So then they're like, oh my God, we need to keep them. This is how I make my money. Yeah. Now I'm taking my shirt off. Now I'm taking my pants You're off. You're slave to now, it. Now I'm... Yeah having sex with my boyfriend it's like it's like the, and then now i'm just it's just like so much stuff that's like it's escalating and it's just i don't think it's something that i want to promote to my followers that i did or i think that god will bless me in different ways amen yeah yep. listen Absolutely. if you're making money selling sex you're a hooker sorry that, sorry that's what I mean. a people, lot of people go how dare you like but shut then people up people also want to <laughs> be like about? oh you just put like other ones like you posted that just making only fans it's not the post it's not that i'm not against showing my body i work mm -hmm. hard for my body i'm not showing it in like bent over in the mirror showing my butt i do it in a way that my grandma's like whoa nice photo like if she's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like you know and check out that ass <laughs> if, I, if my grandma did like the photos and stuff like that it's like i'm doing too much but you know what i mean like i don't feel like you know what I mean that's anything over the top where it's like um if you're getting paid if you're posting it's because the thing is on OnlyFans it's not only the photos like a lot of the times people aren't really making a lot of money on the photos or videos they're making money in the chat yep mm -hmm. so what you're doing is sending you don't know what people are sending and also it's the conversation I'm sorry I don't want to just sit on there and like even yeah. have my team or whatever talk to people like that it's just it's not something that I want to do and say like your husband one day like they like you're talking like that with all these guys yeah. and a lot of guys don't want to be with a girl who has only fans and it, they have every right to that and stuff so it's like why would i when i don't need to do that do that like yeah. i don't know you don't need to do that and you also don't. you're going to save a lot of pain and suffering when you when you settle down and you have a husband that respects you and you have children that look up to you i always people are like oh you're sexist you don't want girls to make money off their bodies like no i love women and i'm trying to tell them that the men that are lying to them now and saying yo like you're so hot here's this here's that when the, you, when the day comes where your beauty is no longer the the light lamp to your life they're going to throw you away faster than you could ever imagine. Then you're going to be alone. Your your life expectancy with your money is going to be completely different. So now you have to rearrange your life. And then on top of that, all of the content that you built is, that made your life is going to come down two times on your children. I'll never forget the yeah. day when I was in sixth grade and uh, this dude, one kid I've ever met. I'm not going to say his name out of respect for him, but his mom was a porn star. And that was like, back in the day, was like, what? That's crazy, right? That was really, really crazy. Every day, they would shove his mother's naked pictures in his locker. They would shove it in his desk. They would put it in his backpack. They would put it on the door. They would pass it around. And all I kept thinking is like, all I, I literally told my mom, I go, I'm scared he's going to kill himself. Because I know that as a child going through that, you know uh, as a kid, like my mom's like really hot, and like my brother, like my brother would get so grossed out when people were like, "Your mom's hot." Like yeah. that, w I could see how that affected him. Imagine Bro. what that kid yeah. went through, like another level. Like he even has to see his mom naked. Like God, you don't want to think about your parents that way. It's like the last thing you want to do when you're so a kid. bad. And now it's on. Now there's videos and like yeah. actual. Yeah. And like it's just like crazy. They just don't think about the future. They, they think, think that this is just going to keep getting better and, and better. And the thing is, though, a lot of people who are in the porn industry, they're so like pro porn that they probably want to be like, yes, kids, this is what we do. Watch our porns. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> they're so like pro porn that they probably in their heads think that it's natural it's and okay, normal yeah. and like. They want their kids. To, you guys should also be porn stars. You know what I mean? Because it's so people are, are so just trying. Just heartburn. Just everyone's just time. trying to push this narrative. I mean, you know, our our dear friend likes to push this narrative of like sex. Like one day I was like, I was always like, 
why do you want to push this? He's like, they're normal people. They should have brands. They should be celebrities. Blah, blah. I'm like, no, they shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but like, sorry, but like, because it's just like, I think about the future, like for them, like I want them to be successful, but we'll have more power to them. Love them. God bless you. But like, stop. Don't put that narrative on children. Like, yeah. not putting that on children. Stop making it okay. Like, I would fucking die if my 16-year-old daughter, 18-year-old daughter is being born. Like, yeah. I can't even Because she was told that it was normal. And, and it's that, pushed yeah. down their throat that it's normal because now it's so glorified. Like, yeah. all these porn stars that are celebrities, it's like, oh, it's so cool. They're, they're, they're just influencers. Like, no, they're not. Yeah. Like, I don't like it. They're influenced. They're influenced. They're easily yeah. influenced. And then they're, they're, you push that down. It's like, I don't know. I think that... It's sad. It's just like there's so much. It's like everything you could see from like a different perspective and everything's perspective or whatever. And like, I don't know. A lot of porn stars come out and they say that they wish they never did it. Everyone does. And Every then, single so, one of them does so, after a certain time. So why? So mm -hmm. why are we pushing that on people when they come out and Because money. It it's and money. All. The it's guys are getting money off of it and the girls are getting money off of it. So right now they're just thinking of self-pleasure. What do you think your decisions have rippled and taught younger women following your journey? You saying no to the bag and standing up for your beliefs and actually having the confidence to be like, that is fucking gross. I don't want anything to do with that. There's a lot of women that were on the edge. They were like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, like, see, this that's is also like a reason why I didn't do it. Cause what about all the other women that are on the edge about it? And then it's like, oh, I look up to summer. Like, oh, summer did it. You know yeah. I mean? You yeah. have a responsibility and, and everyone just expects summer to do it. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people who don't know me or don't listen, I like have listened to me or really looked into who I am as a person. And it's just like, oh, the girl on Instagram, they just assume I'm going to do only fans. Like everyone's yeah. like, oh, I thought she had one. You know what I mean? Cause that's mm -hmm. just what they think. Cause they don't really know who I am or my principles or my morals and stuff. So it's just like, but people who are aware of that. And if I, did do only fans they'd be like what you know what i mean i have to stay true to myself and my message like i'm not gonna be one of those people who talk like a certain way and then my actions are different you know mm. what i mean if you're gonna like preach you have to like practice it too yep. so i also had i'm like I, there's just so many reasons why i just didn't want to do it you know what i mean Good for so, you. and my one of my best friends ever is um, she owns Unruly, like the biggest OnlyFans company <laughs> yeah. in the world. She's like my best friend for like forever, like six years, bef way before that. And she, you know what I mean? Like she didn't push it down my throat by any means. She's very respectful and like understands I didn't want to yeah. do it. But I could have made a fuck ton of money with it. Like yeah. she understands how much money I could have made and would tell me. And it's like, yeah, it's just like, it's just like not for me. You know what I mean? So, you. Does she ever get like kind of weird that you're like super against the thing that no, puts I, Brad on the table? She actually has a podcast. I went on there and I talk about the same way about it. And she like, we have like a good understanding. You know, she understands where I'm coming from. And like, Are I you understand talking about where Tara? She, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand where she comes from. Like, I'm not like shitting on her or like anything. I'm yeah. like, she yeah. sees my point of view and like, she's just like, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, whatever. Absolutely. We just support each other. Like I support what she does. You know what I mean? It's like. I don't ever like think down on that or like whatever. It's just like, I think to each their own. And I think you just have to do what you feel right with, you know, if, if I you disagree with what Tara's uh, whole philosophy and, and business is about, but separating her as a human being, such a sweet human being. Oh yeah, I love Every her, time yeah. I see her, she's super know, bubbly I don't and really positive. Know her and like, like the like, I like to keep it separate. That's also if I did OnlyFans, I'm like, oh, like on the fence about if, yeah. if I would have done it with her because it's like keeping that kind of separate. Like she'll bring me like some brand deals here and there, but we, I kind of like to keep it separated because it's like she is my friend. I've known her for so long. I've known her yeah. way before all the business stuff. So it's like I know her for just who she is, like as my sweet friend. So it's like I don't really want to know the business side as much. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and yeah. that's like sometimes with people. Like you know, it's like let's just be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I'm, I, by the way, this is the first podcast that I had where I'm like, you're just like you. You know what you got going on. I'm just sitting back and watching you. You were killing it, dude. Oh, Thank you for coming over. That. I have one more question before we do like wrap this all up. In five years from now, where do you see yourself, and what do you want to accomplish? Because I do want to talk about your future. Um, I mean. One of the things, like, my, I want to be, like, headlining, like, crazy huge festivals all over the world. Like, that's one of my DJ goals. I, I can want, see that happening. I want Emma Reyes to be a, the hugest beauty brand and, like, my shop. Like, I've been doing my shop line, like, my clothing line for, like, five years. Is this years. your fit? Oh, no. Well, I'm going to go there. <laughs> can you imagine? No. But, I was like, like it's damn. Athletic, it's, like, athletic wear. Yeah. But, like, Makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but, okay. like, that kind of got a little, like, COVID kind of messed that whole thing up. So, kind of figuring that out right now. Um, but like MRIS is doing really well. I want that to be like, I want it in like all the big stores. I want it to be like a recognized beauty brand, like adjustable gummy. Um, and I, maybe like when I'm like 32, I want to have like 
kids maybe and i don't know i just want to like grow my empire and be like i don't know i just want to be summer ray but like res yeah. with res like respected and um be like an inspiration to women you already are yeah, and then I'm very proud that. of you for that. And, and your mom should be very, very proud of you. And I met your mom. Your mom's sweet. Is she a part of this journey? Is she a momager <laughs> at all? No, I love her. But no, she's not. Really, like she supports me, and like she's always been my biggest fan and always supported everything I've ever. She's my best friend. You yeah. know what I mean? So like she's always just been the biggest supporter in my life, and the reason I am the way I am. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. she's installed like Jesus into me, and like always just. In the most supportive, loving, great mom ever. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That. And, and, and I, as a, a fellow Christian, I would love to ask you, as a woman who's very successful, established, has her own head on her shoulders, money in the bank, uh, relationships that she wants that are suitable for her, um, how has Jesus helped you conquer your life? Yeah, I always say, like, I feel like a lot of people come to L.A. and they get lost because it's like they don't have, like, like they're foundation. not foundation. They don't, yeah. They're lost because it's like, they're, like for me, I've always like, God is my rock, and I I don't even if I feel myself strain a little bit or like getting, and then it's like I always can go back to Him, and He always is there for me, and like Amen. I can always like I don't really stray much, but it's like you know if I see myself partying too much or doing, yeah. you know what I mean? Because that's what happens. You come to LA, you get party, you get into drugs, you get into whatever. It's like I've never gone those those routes because if I ever feel a little lost, He always like brings me back yeah. to the light and also like grounds me. So that's like why I think that I've never like gotten so fucked up in the head because so many people I meet so many girls and people that I feel like they're normal like got drowned earth people and then they get so messed up it's yeah. because this industry this LA is like crazy place but like yeah when you have like a foundation when you have a rock and when you have Jesus he he's always there for you 100%, I yeah. love that I love that I have the same exact outlook on it I think I just experienced true love so when these people try to counterfeit it and I'm like, no, nah, that's not real love. I don't, I don't want that. I want the real thing. And yeah. Um, and like when people are always like trying to sell you dreams, blah, 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 it's like when you know God and you know, like our treasures are in heaven, like amen, money and all this stuff. Go. It's like, mm, like, okay, cool. Like it's fun to have. Like if I want to yeah. like make money, I want to be successful. Yeah. I want to have nice things, but <laughs> it's not the end all be all because Within my reason. treasures are in heaven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I could have nothing down here forever. And I, want to serve him you know it's hard in this world and it's like some people could argue that my instagram and all that stuff isn't but like god does know your heart mm -hmm. and he knows i'm not doing it for the wrong reasons i'm mm -hmm. doing it because i work hard for my body and it's just you know i just think that he just knows your heart and like i think everyone has their own like i have my own relationship with god you know what i mean it's yep. like he's my dude and like we under he gets me so yep. That's all yep, that really matters. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why I always encourage people, like, let's let's not be the Christians that are like, yo, he's not Christian, she's not Christian. It's like, bro, I, like... I know. That's what I'm like, I don't, yeah. I don't judge anyone because that's also what it is, like, judging people or whatever. It's like, if that's, like, that's your own relationship with God. Like, if you want to hear about God from me, if you want to talk about it, if you... That's cool, but I'm not ever going to push it down someone's throat and make them... Because that's what makes people hate God. Or, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like... That's not what I do. I'm yeah. not judging your lifestyle or, like, what you do. Like, You'd rather preach by action. Yeah. Like... We still like just because you love God doesn't mean you can't have fun and like you know we have yep. fun we yep. do cool things like yeah so. I, I I agree every and also it's like when you're in a relationship just like a plain relationship right it could be with a mom and dad it could be with a boyfriend it could be with a friend um, when you love someone true love is sacrificing mm -hmm. so like sometimes you have to come to that crossroad you're like okay I'm gonna sacrifice. 40 million dollars mm -hmm. because i know my god is watching me in the position that he put me to represent other women so i'm gonna have to sacrifice that but then they'll see you on instagram and they'll be like well what the frick why are you doing that and it's like yeah. yo i'm already i have on my plate you do you mm -hmm. and let me figure it out between you and me and god and as as a fellow christian i'm very proud of you and i'm mm -hmm. very very inspired by you and i'm and i and i pray that uh multiple uh, uh, flowers could blossom off of the tree that you're kind of like <laughs> leaving you. for Appreciate other women. That. So, well, thank you thank so much you. for coming. Thank you for having thank me, you guys. This was, this was you guys a, live so close to me. We really? should have a double date, yeah. Whoa. I would love that. I mean, we live like 20 minutes away, but still. <laughs> no, that's, that's close. close. What? 20 that's minutes. That's what I'm thinking. Like, we live close. Maybe not anytime. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, actually, no. I was going to say like where I live. I was like, guys, my address is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, no, we'll leave that for Patreon. <laughs> if you guys want to sign up for my Patreon, you'll know where Summer Ray lives. Um, I'm just. Oh, kidding, also, man. Roll is kind of like my I do instead of only like not instead of OnlyFans, but it's like a paid. It's like you get to see my camera roll. It's called Roll, mm -hmm. and um, we just did a messaging app too. So like just connecting with people. I'm is like, this your company? I, I'm a I'm um 
I'm only Let's fans. go. <laughs> she <laughs> said, <laughs> fuck OnlyFans, <laughs> dog. I'm making my own. Yeah, so it's called Roll. It's like people can see your camera roll. It's like, oh, really, yeah. it's really cool. And Wait, like, question. So like awesome. when you actually take a picture, it automatically uploads? That's a little scary. <laughs> that's a little scary. No, I mean, yeah. You pick but, what yes, you guys. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, <laughs> Is it already out in the app store and people can use it? Yeah, it's called Roll. Okay, cool. Roll with Roll and uh, roll. and uh, roll with us in the next podcast on every Thursday. I, oh, that was so much, so, so almost smooth. <laughs> what just happened to me? I just had a stroke. Uh, co again. Come back next episode to see if I made it. Uh, love you guys. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. Peace.